Okay, so what I'm gonna do here for you is I'm gonna show you how to take a brand new boot and polish it for you recruits who are in academy or uh, military, whatever you need to do that uh, you're gonna have something, you need boots that are shiny so you don't get in trouble. I'm gonna take this boot, it's a brand new boot, a Thorogood, uh, and polish up the leather. As you can see, there's two different kinds of leather. There's shiny leather, and then we have more of a flat leather right here, and turn it into a finished product more like this. You can probably see a little bit shinier there. The toes uh, glossy now and the rest of the leather looks good too. So first thing I did when I got these things out of the box is I took them upstairs to my bathroom and I put shaving cream on them. I don't know why shaving cream works but it does. I took the shaving cream and I spread it all over, over every part of it. Didn't really touch the rubber. It doesn't matter if it gets on uh, any nylon parts or whatever. And this can this uh, process works for nylon boots too. I have another set that I can show you later. But uh, anyhow, put the shaving cream on all over the boot. Let it sit for about mm, five, ten minutes. And take yourself a scouring pad from the kitchen or a bristle brush, a hard bristle brush, and uh, scrub it. You're going to see some black stuff start to come off in the foam. That is the protective layer that the the company puts on areas like this to protect your layer and kind of make it look good but really it just uh, seals your leather and you want to break it down to the to the lowest grade possible so you have a nice open pore surface on your leather I don't have the the pre shot obviously but this is what it looks like after you do the shaving cream method uh, some of the stuff you're gonna need you're gonna need well, what I use, again, this is just the, the, my process that I found that works best. Uh, I bought the Kiwi kit. It came with a couple of jars of Kiwi for a gloss black uh, leather polish. Uh, this is what I use for an application brush. It came in the, in the pack with it. Get yourself some t-shirt material, and I have a couple of microfiber cloths here. So the first thing I do is, working with this brand new leather, I want to get a nice thick layer of polish on because you're going to do about three, four, five, six coats depending on how glossy you want it. This boot over here that was finished was four coats I believe. So don't think that you're going to get through this easily or quickly. Uh, if you know when your starting date is going to be, you should have started days before with your boots because you got to wear them in and, uh, and then apply your polish. So. Just stuck my brush right in the right in the, the polish there. Get a nice fat layer on there and just start smearing. You're gonna see it looks looks like you're polishing with a Snickers bar at first. Basically all you're doing with this is spreading around a bunch of polish. Get it in all the cracks, get it all up against these ridges here, because you don't want to have nice glossy layers and then up around the ridges, you're gonna see unpolished stuff. So We'll start with one small section. Keep keep putting it on as needed because it's going to wear off. It's going to get itself into the rubber there, into the leather. And don't worry about making a mess right now because it, it's uh, there's no way around it. It's going to be a messy process. See how it's looking? Just like like you're rubbing chocolate on it. You're going to do this. For a while, basically what it's doing is getting that first layer of polish into the tiny microscopic pores of this leather, and you're just rubbing it in. Some people break it all the way down and then use the t-shirt to rub it in. I don't use the t-shirt till a couple layers later, and I'll show you how that works, but this is a good way to get a big old thick layer of polish on there without busting your knuckles the first couple hours, especially if you're new at this, you're going to have sore fingers no matter what happens. You're, this, isn't an, this isn't an easy or fun process, but once you start doing it, it'll become easier and you'll find your little fast track ways to do it. Like I said, this is just my way. This isn't, this is even how I was taught. This is the kind of what I picked up. Like I said, there's a, a more polished layer of leather here and then a more porous layer here and I just do it on both of them because uh, the nature of the boot is going to be shinier and and less shiny and this just means one area is going to be easier to polish back up after you're done. So this brush working in all the polish. Like I said, get some more on there. Brush starts looking like a mess after a while. Keep 
more polish on there and work your way all around the boot. Don't miss any areas. Just start on this side right here and I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward and I'll come back once I got the whole thing done up. All right, now that I've got a pretty good layer all the way around the boot, even on the, the shiny parts, you can see it's got a couple of high spots here I'm gonna work down. You wanna make sure you got your little notches and crevices here. Uh, possibly apply a little bit more to your toe area since that is the spot that will catch your, catch your RTO's eye first. I mean, if you're standing at attention, this is gonna be where you want to shine. If this isn't shiny, they're going to inspect the rest of your boot. If that's not shiny, you're going to be, you're going to have sore arms, probably doing some push-ups. All right. Uh, the one tool I forgot to mention I was going to use is my heat gun. Just a standard heat gun I picked up from Harbor Freight. I think it was about 15 bucks. Um, doesn't matter what setting you use it on. You can also use hair dryers. Uh, just got to be careful with the heat gun because it does heat up to a very high temperature and you can damage the leather if you hold it in one spot for too long. Okay, so we got a pretty good coat here. Even uh, watch these little crevices here. You're going to get a uh, polish on your on your threads and in the cracks and everything so nothing's perfect but just do with what you can. Alright so now I'm going to take the heat gun and go over evenly and heat up all of the polished areas. Um, it's going to melt this polish, sink all the, the rest of that polish into the small pores in the, in the leather, and it's gonna make it look shiny at first, but you are nowhere near done. So this is, uh, this is step number two in my process here. Take a look. Watch your hands, this thing gets hot. I've heard several other ways of doing this without a heat gun. I've tried them. Uh, they work to some extent, but this is the one that I like doing the best. It seems to be the most time efficient and gives you a pretty good result. Uh, so that's our first layer. It's going to be sunk into the leather there. I'm going to let it sit for about 10-15 minutes. You know, It couldn't hurt to let it sit for longer, but since uh, i got some stuff to do today, I'm not going to hang out that long. Let the boot sit, we'll come back in a little while and I'll show you what's next. All right, let it dry. Basically all letting it dry does is uh, helps the polish to cure and harden and you're setting up a good base for a lot more layers of polish on there. The second step is just like the first. You're gonna go all the way across it one more time and heat it up again. And I usually do, I usually do two layers for the base. Um, so, I don't know if you can see that again. Uh, same deal, brush, polish, small circles, and you're just going over the layer that just dried, and we're going to heat it up again. And it's just going to keep filling in everything that you missed the last time, because you're not going to get it the first time. So this is going to be your second application of polish, your second layer on the boot. Going to create a nice foundation for the glossy polish that you want to see when you're done because you're not going to be polishing leather i don't know when i started polishing boots i didn't know what to what to expect so i thought the polish was just something that made the leather look nice it's not the polish is something that fills in pores in the leather 
and then you're basically just polishing the polish. You're smoothing it out. It's like waxing a car. And then you add a base coat and then fill it in and then buff it out. Your paint's not getting shinier. The polish is. You're just helping smooth it out. So we're going to go through it again. I'll do the whole boot again. Hit it with the heat gun one more time. And uh, come back when I'm ready to do one of the more fine polish uh, sections of it. <clears throat> okay, so where we left off, I believe that we had two polish applications with the brush and one with the cloth. So, for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and go over it one more time with the cloth. And give it another layer and this is really going to be the final the final coat to the polish find a new piece of the cloth here this one's getting kind of beat up and this will be basically like putting a clear coat on a paint job this will be the last final one it'll fill in hopefully all of the the remaining areas that that are uh, porous as you can see you can already polish it out just just with a dry cloth already it looks 10 times better when you started but we're going to go even farther than that and do one more application to it i don't know if you can see but there's a piece right on the bottom here that didn't get much polish so i'm going to get that those are the things you got to look for not that it's a big deal but it's good to be uh to have attention to detail <clears throat> so i'm going to put one more layer polish on with my t-shirt material here dip it in the water again a nice good nice good finger full polish and just keep going small circles make sure not to miss any spots you don't have to press very hard just rub it in one finger full should do <clears throat> an area about this size. You're gonna, whatever kind of academy in, you're gonna go through several, several jars of this kiwi or whatever polish you decide to use. You're gonna go through it, it's just gonna get used up. You're gonna have to reapply every night. Obviously not this, not this crazy. You're not gonna have to do four coats every single night, but you know, one, one coat a night, one coat every other night is usually what you're looking at. Maybe two on the weekend, just to keep that good, uh, that good gloss going, keep the RTOs off your back. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this last layer on, heat it up again, let it dry, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to polish it out so it looks like new money. All right. All right, so put on our last layer of kiwi with a t-shirt so we're up to two layers with the brush, two layers with the t-shirt uh, four layers total like I said you can do more if you want but I'm getting tired and these boots have taken enough of my time what I use is a microfiber cloth this is one that I had from cleaning cars. Uh, anything microfiber, uh, terry cloth works, but you won't get as fine a polish. The t-shirts work. It all depends on what you have available for you. I've heard of people using nylons. They cut their wife's nylons and use them. <clears throat> for me, this has been working the best. So, uh, you've heard polishing called spit shiny before. I'll show you what I think that means in a couple seconds here. And from what I can gather. So, we got the heel here, which is going to be shiny no matter what, but we'll go ahead and start there. And you can see the haze just kind of disappears. Give it a nice buff. At this point, it is just like polishing a car. You got your, your top coat there. You can see it start to really shine up and get glossy. Try and keep it off the table so I don't rock the camera so much. See if I can do one side and then show you what 
one side looks like polished and the other side unpolished looks like. And this is, again, the more you, you do this action, the more you're going to polish that you know, top coat. But as you can see, I'm going to put in less than, less than 30 seconds here. And boom, it's starting to look good. So that would be polished, unpolished. It still looks all right, but you do need to finish it off with that good, good buffing action. Uh, so that's basically how you do a brand new boot. Um, again, I said, here we go. There's the one that I did right now. And there's what the finished product will look like when you're all done. So, uh, experiment. Like I said, this isn't an exact science for me. This is what works best for me. Use whatever methods you think are, are good. Uh, try different things. I hope this helped. I hope this saved you from writing some memos and doing some push-ups. Uh, I will put up a couple more videos later on uh, on the upkeep of these boots and how to clean up my other boots which have some nylon on them which is uh, another little tricky mess I ran into. And yeah, have fun. Thank you. Bye-bye.